Hey you! Welcome back to Life is Strange. Remember how in uh, the Tales from the Borderlands episode said that I was gonna play this game like the day after the last Tales from the Borderlands episode? And then remember how I didn't do that? It's not my fault, okay? Like, I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm I'm sick. Uh, and, and it's been way worse. The past couple of days have just been like an absolute mess. Like, my throat is so sore. You have no idea. Uh, so... Not my fault! You guys will probably blame me. Um, also, me sick, hence the... Uh, I feel terrible. Uh, I went out and I bought a book. Like, my head was hurting so much, I was like, I, I can literally not sit and play video games. So, uh, I got my mom. I was like, because this is the first time I'm actually sick alone in my own apartment. So I was like, panic, how will I eat? What? Uh, I can barely cook without being sick. And uh, I was like, mom? I'm, go I'm gonna need you to see some stuff for me, okay? I'm gonna need you to pick me up my teddy bear, some new tea, some honey, and a book. And she was like, a book? Wow, you must really be sick. And I was like, yep. Because if I resort to books, I mean, then I'm sick. So, um, I got a book. It's actually right next to me. I got this one. It's like an old classic, but I've only read them in Danish. And I was like, I'm gonna improve my uh, Englando, English. Um, by reading myself some Harry Potter and it was really good and uh, I finished it in two days and now I'm sitting here like hey I'm bored again and I was like I think I'm healthy enough to record so yeah if this sucks then sorry but I'm sick can't blame me well you can and you will because this is the internet but I, I justified myself um, so yeah, Life is Strange, the last episode. To be honest, I didn't really want to finish this game because I think it's awful. But we played four episodes already, so we might as well play the fifth one. And hopefully they stepped it up for the last one. Bring yourself some tea. I've got I've got something else, but I gotta stay healthy somehow. Um Yeah, watch it alone, dim down your lights, and enjoy this story. Yes. Continue. Previously on Life is Strange. That's really good because it's been ages since I played it. <clears throat> what did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. It's true. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard! Max, we have to find that spot now! Dead. Also, I sincerely hope you could not just hear that I received a Steam message. Never ever has a friend ever messaged me before. That's why I didn't like turn it to offline. What the hell? Well, one time has to be the first. I'm sick anyway, so let's just pile on the crap. If I clear my throat or I cough, I'm terribly sorry, but I, I there's so much slime. 
charming, I know, but so much slime. Alright, let's get in the mood. I don't know, I'm actually excited for this episode. We are most likely down in the bunker, and this is where he photographed the girls before he abused them and take pictures of them. Should have stick to Final Fantasy. Should have stuck. Stickered. Grammar. Uh, again. I'm sick, uh, and this is just gonna be like, as I'm just gonna wing it, all right. So if you're in in the mood for something deep, and meaningful, well, right now is not the time. If you're in the mood to just hang out, now it's the time. This is gonna be a lot more like my live streams uh, usually are, where I just sit and yap about random shit. So if that's not your jam, I want you. Please be naked. Life is Strange, Episode 5, Polarized. I really like her freckles. I don't know, freckles are beautiful on girls. Green eyes, freckles, red hair. Uh, telling you. Oh, I can look around. Rise and shine. Chloe? Yeah, Chloe's dead. What? Where? Oh, it's a dark room. Oh! Hello! Is anybody out there? Yeah, she's right there. Please! Victoria! Victoria! Wake up! Wake up! You gotta scooch your chair and kick her a little bit. Oh, no, she is waking up. Oh, what? Oh, no. Okay, she's not. Detach? What is that? That doesn't even look like duct tape. That, that looks like me. some... Some serious... Oh! What? We broke it? Oh Finally. yeah, that was fairly easy. I'm free. Uh, Almost. Paul? Is there anything here we can use? Like some pliers or... Alright, let's look at that. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Oh shit, that was a picture of me! God, uh. I don't remember anything that happened. Holy shit, and that camera like pointing at us? Drug Nathan used on Kate. Like, he could literally right now be looking at us. I just expect a TV to come on somewhere and like... I want to play a game. Oh, focus, okay. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Uh... Uh... Am I there? I think I got it, guys. Yep. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! You've gone a little bit cray cray there, Jefferson. Are you sure that this is okay for a teacher to do? Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. Yeah, because the teenage girl has never taken a but selfie before. Max is special. Your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. 
Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone, and you fell right into my hands. Yeah, you really should have focused move. on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid! Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. Wow, he's fucked up. I mean, he's brilliant, but fucked up. Oh, he does not look happy with the way I pose. I'm sorry, but it it's hard being duct taped oh, Jesus. And, and doped up. I can't believe that happened. So sick. Mm. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Those were some weird moans. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. All in good time, Cupcake. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Let's try that one then. This might work. Please work. Focusing. Focus. Ah. Ah. G g g gotcha. Oh, no. Yep. Still not in focus, but okay. Here we go. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes. Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. What is that thing in the background? You're like the red the shadowy Max. thing. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, 
Why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Um... Go to... Well, he's probably already going to hell, so... You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Hmm. I don't know about this one. Artists kill a lot of shit. It's not always humans they kill, but artists sure as hell destroy stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. Fuck. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Uh, you use Nathan. Like, Nathan is just a stupid you kid. You use Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Oh shit. Alright, so that was Nathan. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Oh Do you my! Finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. He's you thorough. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker, for Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. 
I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. I like this song. This is actually a really good song. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh, now this one. Hmm. I'm not sure how this will do me good. Yo. Okay. Wait. Please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Oh, is that good? My diary. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. It got like 11 likes on Instagram. Asshole. Uh, then he does that. Can I do something with this? Hello. Oh, I can I can go back to that. I don't know how that'll help me, but I can do it. Like retake it or Didn't I go sharp? There? Yeah. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh. shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word I'm back. A wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Oh shit, I don't remember. Well, I know the answer, the but... Process. Oh, well, that was easy, Max. Correct. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Oh, it'd be so cool to call him out right now. Obviously, Just be like, this is your Max plan. Has read them. Face. No, come on. Ah, oh, it would be so cool just to be like, go to change Rachel in a basement, Francisco, bitch. Where you'll be fed by the First, let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Uh... Uh, well, how will I, um, search? Is David I in the be back? Able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Oh yeah, that's that's what I was thinking too. Found you. Definitely. I can't remember that. Six three zero oh, eight two four three six three zero oh, six three zero oh, eighty two forty three. 630-8243. 630-8243. Come on! For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. Wait, I didn't have to remember it? Jefferson down fast. Oh, thank God. That was dreadful last time. You 
You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. In Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Yeah. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? No, no, you're doing good. Search. It her. doesn't matter what Victoria. It's nice to know how you really feel. Wait, my phone is dead and I'm bored. Time to burst. Oh, uh, time to bust out my poesy? Poetry? Why did I give up on the word for the image? Because I suck, but Mark Jefferson rules. Everybody in here loves him, but he only seems to care about Max C. I want to hate her, but she couldn't care every. Envy is a sin, Victoria. Get over yourself. Okay. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Oh yeah, right, right, right. We've already done all this. Yo, Jefferson, what Mr. up, man? Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That would never be... That, no, real life, not working, no. Nope. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh... That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. Oh, that sly fuck. It hurts to hear him talk Innocent. as if we're friends. Or guilty. Thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. What the hell? You can't be that... Again. Oh my god, okay. This episode is actually kind of cool. I mean, it doesn't make any sense, but kind of cool. I dig it. Right now I dig it. I, I can get in the mood. Wait, so problem fixed? I'm in a taxi Whoa. on my way to... No, I'm in a plane right now on my way to SF. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. I'm on a plane. No idea. No words. No idea what the fuck is going on. But hey, 
this episode actually seems kind of cool. Um, sorry, sorry, this was a bit of a weird episode, but I feel weird, so it suits me right now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, even though I'm, I'm sick. So uh, yeah, I'll see you around for the next episode. Goodbye, you.